welcome back to my channel it's your girl Nas and I hope everyone is happy and healthy and doing just fine so in today's video guys I'm coming to you with a rant with all the upsets like I can't even you know and today's video is all about this thing here the instant pot and it's so heavy i can't even hold it up with one hand but yeah the instant pot and i will be reviewing this thing from a jamaican's point of view you you, you understand we as jamaicans we cook different from the rest of the world especially um in america I, I i don't mean taste wise by no means but just the way in which we cook things it can be a little different and i decided to buy this pot because i was looking for something to help me out a little in the kitchen you know because <laughs> i cook every day uh we don't eat japanese food well not that much and so i spend a lot of time in the kitchen cooking and i wanted something to just help me out a little so in christmas my husband and I, we decided to buy an instant pot and I have tried it all at least five times now and to be honest, at least uh, three out of the five times, it was completely, like completely a destruction, a calamity, a, it just wasn't working out, alright? And I decided that I wanted to review this from a Jamaican's point of view just in case any Jamaicans watching this are actually thinking about buying an instant pot they know what to expect based on well my experience so let's jump right in guys as usual just before we head into the details of this video we have to do our Natsnificent fam shout out if you want to be a part if you want your name to be a part of this bag you have to be subscribed and be commenting on my videos what are you doing if you're not doing that though just just do it just support the thing however let's get into this bag all right all right Mm, okay, who this? Who this? And this comment goes to Adam Webb, my husband. Thank you very much for watching, honey, and always commenting on my videos. This comment that Adam left was I like how half of this video is just you forcing that picture into the frame and this comment was left on video 5 and that was of me on decorating and redecorating after the Christmas holidays and yes I really did struggle putting that picture in the picture frame because I wanted it to be perfect anyway thank you very much for watching Adam big up yourself okay so first things first the instant pot is 16 pounds in weight and it is this big and this is actually a six quart instant pot and it's really big for a six quart i was thinking about getting an eight quart but that would be too massive for just me and adam of course and so it comes with you know regular pressure cooker handle and so on the pressure cooker ring actually i just uh cooked in it yesterday and i'll tell you all about that soon and it comes with this inner pot so this is actually the pot that you cook in whenever you need to get things cooked and this is what inside looks like and that shine thing that you're seeing down in there is the heating mechanism that is what heats this thing so that your food can be cooked all right so let's jump into the nitty-gritty of why i kind of don't like this pot first of all the pot cannot make gravy and by saying this i mean gravy on a jamaican level all right you know as jamaicans when we cook curry chicken brown stew chicken stew fish this that you know the whole works we like that um gravy thickening we don't like runny water as gravy because that ain't gravy that's that's water okay colored water flavored water and we don't want that to be given our families so this pot actually does not 
uh, steam or cook well. It cooks in me, but it does not steam to create gravy. So your chicken, you'll put your chicken in there and it will cook. For sure it will cook, but it will not dry down. You understand? So when the chicken is finished, you will have basically water. You understand? It's not flavorful or whatever. So what you have to do is put it on the stove. So transfer it from this pot to your stove and then you cook it down from there. And you know, when, when, when this happened to me at the first time, I was like, I bought this pot so that this pot could help me cook faster. So for example, if, I'm, if I want to cook chicken and rice, I could have the chicken cooking in here and then I could have the rice on the stove cooking. Mark you, it can cook rice as well, but I mean, you want to go as fast as you can. And our stove is a little small, so two pots really can fit on it at once. So yeah, uh, the chicken, the water will not dry out. You will not get gravy, the, the, the Jamaican gravy like texture when you cook chicken or just about any kind of meat in this stuff. The only, um, the only function that I've seen that actually dries the water out or dries it down is the rice cooker function. I mean, it's a rice cooker so of course the rice, the water will um, go out. And I did not mention the functions that this pot has and this is the duo plus the instant pot has many lines of pots under their collection this one is the duo plus and it has um pressure cook soup meat you can bake a cake it has a cake function you can boil egg it as a it has an egg function you have slow cook saute so to you know fry up onions and so on we have rice over here, beans and grains over here, maybe lentils or something like that. We have porridge. We have, what's this, steam. So you can like, I don't know, steam water. <laughs> and we have sterilized, so you can sterilize your utensils, baby bottles, all that stuff. Yogurt and sous vide, if that's how it's pronounced, I don't know. And we have just the regular functioning, so pressure level keep warm delay start cancel and as I said it is heavy so yeah that's what it looks like so yeah guys that's the first problem I have with the instant pot all right the second uh, problem or rant that I'm coming to you with is that the saute button and remember I said in the in 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 point one that it cannot dry down the water to make gravy but it does have the saute function where you could leave it on boil but again if you do saute and leave it on boil because I've done this with with peas I've tried it with um, peas and the water still does not dry down so it just continues bubbling bubbling boiling away boiling away but the water is not decreasing and I am not sure why when I asked a friend she she says like you know um, it is not like a regular stove pot that will actually steam and you know the water will dry down and stuff so yeah I, 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 I really don't know but whatever <laughs> you know so the saute function works and I mean it's best if you're going to saute something and then whatever you're sauteing is going to be a part of the meal that you're going to cook in your instant pot because otherwise it would be just easier to just saute whatever you're sauteing on the stove top wouldn't it be so I'm actually going to step away. What I plan to do is to step away from the Jamaicanized cooking with the Instant Pot and start trying American recipes because I think that would work better and that would give me a better value for my money. So I've been looking at recipes, for example, a chow mein recipe where the water did dry out of the chow mein. Well, you don't really put water into the chow mein. Yeah, so I've seen a chow mein recipe where you know the end result looked pretty good and I, I, I think I'm going to try that uh, they did add water to that recipe to cook the noodles but and it dried out so I'm I'm wondering if it's just that Jamaicans were bossy, bossy. why you know it, it doesn't work for at least this Jamaican it doesn't work for this one all right, so sauteing, say like chow mein and stuff, of course, you saute your onions and your carrots in this, and then you can just add maybe a cup of water and cook it, and 
I mean your sauteed your, your sauteed stuff would have been cooking in this pot as well so it's not a waste of your time we have to saute onions in this and then transfer it to the stove to cook whatever you're cooking like it's just a waste of time so the saute button does work and it does boil but as I said leaving it on boil did not work for me it did not reduce the liquid Americans um, may be watching this or other persons of other nationalities um, but I'm talking from a Jamaican's perspective of using the instant pot and the advice that I'll give or a tip is that if you really don't mind transferring things from one this pot to your stovetop to cook it down then of course the instant pot can be useful in your kitchen for me I did not buy it for that reason I bought it to be able to cook chicken and chicken is cooked and gravy is in there and it can be eaten without me have to mess up other pots or whatever because I, nobody well I hallelujah don't have the time to be dirty up two or three pots inside this house because you see me and my husband this is what we do to wash plate inside here rock paper scissors whoever lose wash plate that's how we do it because none of us loves the plate washing business and they have to get clean right so yeah that is the tip that i have for you if you're okay with transferring buy your instant pot all right and another thing is that you have to it's a learning curve with the instant pot so for some things you really have to learn the time it's an instant pot therefore you cannot um expect it to cook just as how it would cook on the stove now i made a mistake with this where i cooked chicken and um if you see my 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 cooking series nuts cooking um i like to cook my chicken for at least 25 to 30 minutes to ensure that it's really really dead all right like i i mean it's already dead before you eat it obviously but you know what i mean it has to be like cooked 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 cooked, blah, 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 cooked you know so i'm trying to speak too fast because i think i'm running out of time in this recording uh yeah so what was i even saying yes so it's a learning curve and the first time i cooked chicken in this pot i i normally cook as i said i normally cook for 25 to 30 minutes right and in the pot i just took 10 minutes off it so i cooked the chicken for like 15 minutes and when it came out it was so soft we were eating chicken porridge inside here like the chicken was so it was falling off the bone all of that not the consistency that i actually um normally would want for my chicken and so it's a learning curve maybe about five minutes start with five minutes and then check from there and my mom taught me that my mom said you know what girl start with the least number and then work your way up from there if it comes out not to your liking all right and i am going to just switch my batteries and yes guys i think we were on the issue of time before we um left off so as i was saying start with a low number on your instant pot in terms of cook time and then work your way up from there of course you can find um cheat sheets online with you know different times to cook different things using your instant pot but i am telling you it is going to be a learning curve the very first time that i used it i um i pressured i think oxtail oxtail in it and i gave it what 20 no it's not pressure actually i slow cooked it for four hours because normally on the stovetop I would slow cook my oxtail for at least three three and a half four hours I stop at three hours and then you know add time based on how I want the texture and so I thought the same thing would have applied to the instant pot so I slow cooked I think oxtail in it for the first time set it at four hours to slow cook and guys when I took it out or when it was finished and I checked it the oxtail was super tough all right it was cooking but it wasn't 
cooking fast enough as because four hours would have done it on my stove top and then i asked a friend about it and she said that the slow cook function on the pot it operates exactly how a real life slow cooker would be i've never owned a slow cooker before i am a newlywed i am just trying to figure out kitchen utensils and all that jazz and so i've never used a slow cooker before but i just thought because i slow cooked on my stove it would be the same time it was not the same time and so she actually told me that i should put it on six to eight hours or even more in order for it to be really cooked because the slow cooker that's in this or the slow cook function that this comes with it it operates the same as a real life slow cooker and those things are really slow like you have to put at least six to eight hours on them for your 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 meats to be cooked like your beef or whatever so yes that is that for that all right okay guys and the next thing is the next thing i want you to remember is that the instant pot is really um american based it is made in america is it i think so it says made in china actually it says made in china but america i think well based on my knowledge americans use this pot a lot and um their cooking is very much different from jamaicans um cooking and so it is probably a better kitchen gadget kitchen technology that works better in an american home as opposed to a jamaican home because as i said in the very very first um tip or rancher whatever you're going to call this is that it does not dry down water out of your meat like we would want as jamaicans and it does have a delay function timer and that i think is superb so for me i am just now getting comfortable with actually transferring from this pot to my stove i have decided you know what i spent at least um 60 60 something dollars i bought this on the black friday sale so it would have been way more and just in case you want to buy this the link will be down in the description box so please check that out it will be the link to the exact one that i have and yeah as i was saying i i'm now getting comfortable with the fact that i spent you know a good chunk of money on this between purchasing and um paying for delivery to not use it any at all so i am actually trying not to be okay with actually transferring my meat from point a to the stove top when i do use this so i do the pressure cook function does perform very well i must say that it pressure cooks my you know otherwise very tough meat to to eatable standards within minutes and for that reason i'm going to continue using it so i have not cooked rice in this yet but my mom did and she said her rice and peas came out perfectly um i'm not sure of the minutes but hers just like mine is not it does not have a manual button so some of the models have a manual button that you can press and actually set the time yourself i mean some of this does but in terms of rice you cannot just set a time it has a built-in timer for rice and my mom used it and she said hers came out perfectly i have not tried um cooking rice in this yet i may try soon but definitely i have been pressure cooking my meats inside there and um goat meat jamaicans call it curry goat um i've pressured that because you know those bones and meats are very tough I've pressured that in 15 minutes. It came out perfect. Oxtail. I haven't tried oxtail in it yet, but turkey neck. Um, I'm not sure if other countries eat turkey neck, but in Jamaica we eat turkey neck. Yeah, so that took 20 minutes to cook, to pressure inside the pot. And what I realized is that even though it came out cooked and cooked, it, it, it came it came out cooked enough to be eaten right away but as I said the gravy does not dry down and so it was very watery and you know all that seasoning that you put into the pot 
while it does its thing the meat is actually producing its own meat inside the it, its own water inside the pot and so the water that you add into the pot because you have to add water inside the pot in order for it to come to pressure and all that stuff so with the th with the turkey neck i added like two cups of water plus while it was cooking the turkey neck of course um made its own juices and all of that stuff so when it <laughs> when it was finished um it had way too much water and no gravy so i had to transfer that to the pot and then of course cook it down have it on simmer to let it simmer down and create that nice thick gravy so what i found what i found with that was that um the 20 minutes that i gave it in the instant pot could have been less because as i said i transferred it to the stove to simmer down for another maybe five eight minutes so you know let the gravy simmer down to Jamaican to Jamaican standards and so the turkey neck ended up cooking for eight minutes more or ten minutes more and then it became too soft you know I mean you don't you still don't want tough turkey neck but I mean how it came out of the pot out of the instant pot after 20 minutes was good enough to be eaten but then I added 10 more minutes because I needed to make the gravy and so it came out a little too soft it was still nice but still too soft for me so bear that in mind if you do buy one of the instant pots as a Jamaican you're going to have to transfer and so giving your your things less time because you have to transfer it on the stove to simmer down a little so it will be cooking for additional times you lessen the times on this so if I'm cooking turkey neck again I'll probably drop, drop it down to like 15 minutes and um, that will do the trick and the last Thing. and I think I've been talking good things about the instant pot in the last couple minutes of this video and another good thing about it is that it does not burn your stuff so no matter what you put in here no matter how long it is in there for it doesn't burn it as far as I know and not because it doesn't burn it guys it doesn't mean that you know you should be careless when operating this thing because to be honest, I think it burns a lot of electricity. Like when I use it in the month, I see I jump in our electricity bill and I can be assured or I am assured that it is because of the pot because we, re we, we really just stick to what we stick to inside here except when we're using this. So yeah, that is basically my rant about the instant pot. I mean, it's been a very chatty video. So yes guys, that is about it that I have for you with this little rant about Mr. Instant Pot. Oh, it's upside down. Mr. Instant Pot here. And again, if you want an Instant Pot for yourself, a link is in my description below to the exact one that I have. Uh, the price may be different from what I bought this for because I bought this on Black Friday. And yes, that is all I have. So do like this video. If you did, press the notification bell right beside your subscription button if you want to be notified when I do post a video. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Please share with your friends, share with your family, spread this video around so that we can, you know, add some more persons to the magnificent. Woo! This bed is pumpy to the next magnificent club, guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>